Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, David Madison, The Guardian. So I've got this uh, flashlight, it's uranium, uranium TM flashlight technology. So as I do with everything, um, when I'm starting out, I always get the tolerance so that the batteries um, aren't as tightly connected, right? Don't make contact as easily. And then I try to affect it. This is a heavy duty uh, flashlight. It's not a dollar store flashlight like the other ones. But I was able to do a lamp light and uh, If I was able to do a lamp light, I don't see why I can't, you know, why I can't do that. Oh, look at that. So it was bright. You guys could hardly look at it. Yeah, look at that, it's going dimmer. This is my first real attempt to do to do this one. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm not doing anything either. So what I did is I unscrewed the cap a little bit. Now let's screw it back back in. Look at that, guys. I screwed it all the way back in. There we go. I'm wondering if that's, if I'm spe smelling, uh, I mean, it wasn't doing this just a second ago. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. This is my telekinesis, I'm telling you guys. Because I've been trying so hard to turn this sign off, make it flicker or whatever, and I've had some success. But this is, this is not a battery, uh, um, a dollar store flashlight, guys. It's a heavy duty, powerful flashlight. Of course, I'm going to put other batteries in it and see what happens with that, but this is amazing. So this is the button, but I'm not touching the button, okay? My thumb is down here. In fact, let's do this. Let's see if we can... There we go. This is my hand. Right here. It's telekinesis, guys. And I'm trying to learn how to, you know, tap into it, get it brighter. Let's try to get it brighter. Try to get it brighter. how slow it's strobing. I've never had it do that before. Wow. I think you guys can see that. So you saw with the other flashlights, like the dollar store flashlights, 
the ones that had those LEDs and they had like three bubbles, three bubbles of light. Those things were strobing really, really fast. And what I like to do to practice with those is, now see how it's speeding up? See, if it, if it were a poor battery, it wouldn't suddenly go, like once it got dead, it would stay dead. You know what I mean? Because the battery just gets worse and worse and worse. So it's, it's not gonna suddenly, um, it's not gonna suddenly get stronger as the battery is going down, right? Look at that, it's speeding up. I really feel like I'm in the matrix right now. It's crazy. In fact, something that I feel like you can do is you can dilate time. You can cause time to contract and expand. Look at that thing. It's going faster and faster. As I'm breathing, I'm trying to decide whether... Look at that, that is so crazy. So like, how does someone, you know, I mean, is the, is the flashlight, is it truly dead or is it just because my telekinesis, my electrokinesis, my intent kind of saturated And so you've seen pretty much every single flashlight now that I have do this and what I call fully seated. Um, it's not fully seated when either the lens, which puts pressure sometimes on the connections, or the battery compartment is unscrewed slightly, okay? When I'm doing my electrokinesis on things, I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, to do it fully seated. I'm way down here. The button is up here, guys. This is the button. I'm way down here, so I'm, I'm not touching that button at all. may not understand it, 
we may be able to do some of us may be able to do it but not understand it others of us have gotten good enough to where we set an intent like maybe the intent is to make this super bright again and we can do that I'm still learning all this stuff Amazing. Let's see if we can slow it down. No, it's speeding up. I was thinking maybe by, you know, holding my breath, maybe it would slow down. This is crazy. Alright guys. You know what to do. Peace.